current society, this current sinful uh, place. Everything we do is uh, influenced by white supremacy. Bring it up. Everything we do, how we think, how we eat, how we treat one another, how we deal with our kids, how we deal with our wife, the foods we eat, Bring it the sports up. we watch, the Bring clothes we wear, yeah. the way we speak Deep. has to do with our oppression here Bring it up. in society. God is trying to convert us back to our ancient religion, our ancient knowledge, our ancient ways, customs. That's right. Psalms 19 and 7. Our ancient laws. Bring it up. You understand? The reason why the black man don't like law and order is because law and order has always been against the black man. That's what our bishop say, and it's true. The reason why we don't like law and order is because law and order has always been against us. You understand? They killed Mike Brown. Did he get law and order? Did his family get any type of restitution? What about, um, what's the brother? Uh, Laquan, Laquan, yeah, Laquan McDonald. Donald, off Cicero. What's that? Um, Philando Castile? No, 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 the cop. Jason Van Dyke. Yeah, Van Dyke. He got off. You understand? Jason Van Dyke, Van Dyke got off. I think they sent him to a place on the East Coast, right? Yep. But he ain't getting no, we ain't getting no real justice behind that. Okay? Be what you got. The book of Psalms, 19 and verse 7. The law of the what? The law. The what? The law. The philosophy. The law. The religion. The law. The law. God gave us laws. Thou shalt not kill is a law. That's right. That's not still is a law. Right. You understand? When we practice these laws, then we will prosper. That's the only thing that our predecessors forgot. Marcus Garvey forgot the laws. Noble Jew Ali forgot the laws. Malcolm X forgot the laws. Louis Farrakhan is forgetting God's laws. He might he might know that we the Israelites, but he not coming with the substance we need to change. Right. The thing that changed me was the laws. That's right. The law of the Lord is perfect. And these laws is perfect. That's right. Because God is a God of perfection. That's right. There is no mistake. We got, for like, for example, we wouldn't need um, the police. and The police, the Cook County Sheriff, all that, they're doing a wonderful job. But we wouldn't need them in the capacity that, they, that we need them. If we was keeping God's laws. Because if you do harm to your neighbor, let's say you steal, what are we going to do? Us at, we, as, as, as leaders of the community, we're going to come together. We're going to say, hey, bro, give back what you just stole. And according to the law, you got to give seven times what you stole. Bring it out! If you stole a $300 pair of, <laughs> then give me some damn shoes, man. LeBron. Yeah, some Jordans. Jordans. You stole some $250 Yeezys. <laughs> I'm gonna say 200 for the help for the sake of math. You gotta give back seven times that. What's that? Fourteen hundred dollars back. You gotta make a payment plan with your brother. You wanna take his two hundred dollars shoes. You gotta give back fourteen hundred dollars, and you gotta repent before the congregation. Get your mind right. That's law and order. That's, That's right. righteousness. Right. And guess what? We practice that amongst ourselves. That's right. You act up. We gonna check you. Right. So what you doing, man? You ain't supposed to be doing that to your brother. We have accountability. That's what the black man need. We need accountability, man. Right. That's, That's right. right. The law of the Lord is perfect. Perfect. Converting the soul. See that? The laws of God will convert that drug dealer into a hard-working man. Right. That's right. That hoe into a housewife. Believe right. it or not. All she got to do is keep the laws. That's right. No matter what her past is, that's her past. Yeah, she can keep God's laws. Right. You understand me? The testimony of the Lord is sure. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Read. Making wise the simple. And it will make wise the simple. Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4 about wisdom. Because every one of us, we like wisdom, right? We want to know. We want to know what's going on. Right, my brother? Is that why you found yourself in um, the more science? For wisdom, right? You want to know more. You want to know why? What's going on? You want to seek righteousness. That's that's already in us. Bring it up. But I'm going to show you our wisdom and I'm going to show you our righteousness. That's, that's right. right. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh, Keep them up. for and do them. Verse 5. Verse five. Uh -huh. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Moses taught us statutes and judgments. Right. Laws 
and the judgment for breaking these laws. Come on. Even as the Lord my God have commanded me. That's the difference between us and any other nation on the face of the earth. God never talked to the Arabs. God never talked to the real Africans. Bring it up. God never spoke to the Russians. He never spoke to the white men. God dealt directly with our nation. You understand me? That's why he's dealing so hard with us. That's why we're the only nation going through what we went through. Right. Slavery. Section 8. They done divided us up. Put guns in the hood. You understand? Hire certain one of these destroyed brothers to, to set people up and kidnap them. All kind of stuff going on here. You understand me? Why is this going on? Because God is dealing with us and he's also punishing us for breaking his laws. Yeah. Come on. That ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. We're supposed to do the laws in the land. You understand me, brother? Bro, what's your name? Paris. All right, hey, Paris, I hope to see you soon, bro. Get a flyer. Contact us, man. All right, come on. Keep them for and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. You know what God said? He said, when you keep my law, statutes, and commandments, and the judgments, this is your wisdom, and this is your understanding. You understand? This is your wisdom. Bring it up. what the Bible say do. Come on. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this is a great nation. Is a why, excuse me. Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Now read that again from the top. Keep them for and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. When we keep God's commandments, that is our wisdom, that is our understanding. That's, That's right. when we're going to get respect. That's when we're going to stop seeing our brothers gunned down in the middle of the street right, right. and left there in 100 degree weather. With their hands up. They getting kicked with their hands up. Getting shot on Cicero until they twirl and drop. And they show it over and over and over again on the news. So they're going to stop doing documentaries on 63rd and King Drive late at night. Talking about these dudes out here game bang. Look what they doing here in Chicago. You understand? See, that's your hood. We wouldn't have a hood if we keep these law statute commandments. That's our wisdom. Acts 319 again. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Don't make no mistake about it. This ain't finna go on forever. God's people is not finna be on the bottom, game begging forever. Prostituting forever. Worshiping white Jesus forever. Worshiping I lie forever. We is not going to be doing our own thing forever. So now is the ch time to change. Time is very short. Very short. Uh, yeah, look who's in the White House right now. You got a president that is not afraid of war. He has no problem pressing no nuclear button. You understand that? He got no problem pressing the button. Bring it out. Even knowing that direct the um the reward for pressing the button. When you shoot <laughs> nuclear bombs towards other countries, other countries are gonna shoot nuclear bombs towards this country. That's you understand right that? Out. Right? Like for example, you're not gonna run up on a brother with a weapon and he ain't gonna use it. Bring it out. You understand me? You ain't finna you ain't finna bully the other nations. And they're not going to use the weapons that, that God has given them. Right. Right. Okay? So that's the times of refreshing. Talking about fire. But guess what? Give me 1 John 3. Bring it up. Or is it 2 and 15 or 3 and 15? Woo. About the world, Bring about it, it forever. 2 and 15. 2 and 15. Give me that. The book of 1 John. Chapter 2 and verse 15. Bring it up. Love not the world. Brothers, don't love this world. Don't Bring love this current society. That's right. Don't love this current, this place right here. Don't love it. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. See that? Um, I forgot who I was listening to. It was um, it might have been one of these 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 um, I can't remember these these scholars, these black scholars. They said black people need to stop trying to love the world and start trying to learn how to survive. Bring it up. We have to we have to just survive here. Just feed your family, do what you got to do, make this place better for you for for you and your people. 
This, is, this is not uh, La La Land. This ain't Never Never Land. Right. right. This is not a big amusement park. That's right. This is not a playground. We have been brought here to the shores of America to suffer so that we that way we can acknowledge our sins and what we done did wrong towards God and change. Right. That's right. So that way he can deliver us. Just like in ancient Egypt. Bring it up. Oh. See? A lot of us don't forgot about ancient Egypt. Bring it up. America ain't the first superpower to rise up. You know that, right? Whatever happened to the Greeks? You ever heard of the Greeks? What happened to them? How come they not ruling no more? Bring it up! Every empire has an end. That's right. The Greeks, they ruled. No nation could took them down, could take them down. I'm sorry, did I say the Greeks? I meant the Egyptians. The ancient Egypt was so mighty that no other nation could take them down. Right. Nations took down Babylon. Nations took down Greece, took down Rome. Nations took down every kingdom except for Egypt and America. Bring it up! You understand? Because the same way Egypt got destroyed, America finna be destroyed. Yes, Alright, so again, what we teaching? We teaching that, sister, we are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Brothers, we are the Israelites. That's right. We never been black. We are not Hispanic. We are not Muslim. Come on. Love not the world. He God said love not the world. That's right. That's right. Stop loving the fashion of the world. Bring it up. Stop following the fashion of social media. Jeez. Social media is a world that's created. Jeez. Bring it up. Based on your likes, your desires. Bring it up. Bring if it up. you click on 50 socks, the next ad is going to be a 50 a 51st sock. Bring it up. You understand me? Did I make sense? If you look at 10 hats, the next ad that's going to pop up on your social media is an 11th hat. Jeez. Because it's a world that you create. It's not real. Right. Love not the world. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Christianity is in the world. Don't love that. Islam is in the world. Don't love that. Gang banging is in the world. Don't love that. Bring it up. Come on. If any man love the world, if any man love the world, you love the way this current world is treating your people. If you love seeing your people get shot down on Cicero. My young brother Laquan McDonald, young brother, I was he like 19 years old? Mike Brown, young, what, 17 years old? Uh, what's the brother, young brother in Florida? Philando Plastic? No, no, before him, the first. Trayvon, Trayvon Martin, Martin, young brother. This is teenagers. They no longer beating up the black man like back in the 90s with, um, what's that? Um, they no longer beating on grown men. Now they, they, they beating on our kids now. They beating up our women now. Mm. Because our brothers, we too busy chasing drugs, chasing guns, chasing, chasing whatever. We not doing our job. Right. Bring it up. Come on. If any man love, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. What's the love of the Father? We're gonna show you in a second. Come on. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. See that the lust of the flesh. That's your um, your fleshy sins. Like for example, I'll give you an example of a fleshy sin. Adultery. A lot of brothers is married, right? Or what well, they wasn't. They a lot of brothers was married back in the day. A lot of brothers ain't married now. And some is, but you used to have songs like the Clean Up Woman. Clean Up Woman. Uh, uh give me some them Isley Brothers songs. Footsteps in the Dark. Mrs. Mrs. Jones. Brothers got to cut that adultery stuff out. Bring it out. Cut it out. You cut it out. It's no good. That's right. <laughs> if loving you is wrong, <laughs> y'all, we got to stop that foolishness, man. We got to hold Bring. down our family, get our minds right. Bring it out. Come off the, if the young hoe wants you, avoid her. Right. You understand? Keep busy. Be around your brothers. Hey, man, what, what, what we got going on? Find something to do outside of being around her. And the Bible talk about being around women all day. Don't be around women. Women, of women come with wickedness, the Bible say. Come on. And the lust of the eyes. And that's not the only lust. That's just one lust. Lust of the flesh. Give me some more lust of the flesh. Murder. A big lust of the flesh here in Chicago. Big lust of the flesh. Money. Brothers can have nothing and still will kill you. Bring it up. We, we, we done lost our whole mind. We'll kill you for a housing authority that's ran by Chicago Public Housing Authority. You don't, even, you don't run old block. You don't run Parkway Gardens. Chicago uh, um, uh, um, Housing Authority runs 
uh, Parkway Gardens. Bring it out! Back when Cabrini Greens was up, you ain't ran Cabrini Greens. Bring it out! Chicago Public Housing ran Cabrini Green. That's right. But we're gonna die for Cabrini Green. We're gonna die for Parkway Gardens. We're gonna die for the hunters. Teach! Come on, we crazy. Bring it out! And the pride of life. And the pride of life. You get a little bit of money, now you get prideful. When you read pride, pride in the Bible is separating from God. Bring it up! I, I don't need God. Bring it up. I got money. What you mean? I need you see that? Some people say, what you mean? Like a lot of people, they think like pride of life is going into that lust for power. You think it's you doing all that. You understand? That's your, I love it, brother, but that's your 50 cents. Bring the 50 laws of power. You understand? That's your. Give me some more. All these these big CEOs, these people that think they're doing something for themselves. That's the pride of life. Jay your Jay Zs, right your Come Puff Daddies. Give me some politicians, man. That that think it's them. Ben Carson. All of them. Ben Car these Kanye West. All these pride of life. They think it's them that that is doing something. Bring it out. God said, "What does it profit if a man gain the whole world and lose his own soul?" Bring it out. That's why he said the pride of life. We done lost our mind. Come on. It's not of the Father. And I, I want to show y'all that this is all by design. If the white man give you $50 million to sell out hell, and you take it, that don't, <laughs> that's what's going on. Not saying that you would do that, brother, and not saying that you would do that. As an example, they'll take one of us, pay him to sell out the rest of us. It's always been going on. Bring on. it out. That's uh, excuse me. But the pride of life. Is not of the Father. It's not of the Most High God. It's not of the Scriptures. Read. But is of the world. All that we just named is of the world. You learn that here in Chicago. You learn that here in America. You learn that here in this current society. So again, what are we teaching? Black man, we are the Israelites this Bible speaks of. Bring it up. And the world passes away. Whoa. The world is going to pass away. You understand That's that? That's right. Chicago ain't going to be here forever. That's right. That's right. Christ ain't coming back to rule with Donald Trump. Bring it up! Or his cabinet, his administration. Bring it up! He is not coming to share the throne with anybody. That's right. Daniel 79. So, you gotta ask yourself, what do we gotta do? We gotta repent and keep God's commandments, man. Hey, Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.